invisible world. Amazing but true. We'll leave Horton to listen, and we'll zoom in on who. But guess which is the story now? Who? You! Meet a tiny Who family on a small rainy day. Mom and Dad are just home from the Who PTA. And here's their kid Jojo. In trouble again, because her things take her places where no one has been. I'm the mayor of Who. Why, I've just been elected. And upforth behavior is thus much expected. But we've just had a talk with your teachers today, and they didn't have one single good thing to say. You invented new things which defile description. You gave Miss O'Dooley a nervous conniption. Your things were so wild that they disrupted your classes. They made Mrs. McElhoo drop her new glasses. Which is why you're suspended. Yes, that's what they said. My dear, what and who has gotten in your head? I, uh, um... Now Horton has found us. We're safe on a clover, but clearly our troubles are far, far from over. We don't need to scold you. We love you. Oh, yes, dear. But couldn't you try banking just a bit less, dear? Stop telling such outlandish tales. Stop turning minnows into whales. Now take your bath and go to bed. And, and think, think some normal, normal things, things instead. instead. You got me in trouble. Get out. Go away. All right. I'll be going. But first, let me say... Oh, the things you can think. No. Oh, the things you can think. Stop. As you splash and you splish. I'm not listening. As you sit there and scrub, have a thinking that's up. Think of water and fish. Fish? Think of pipes in the floor leading off to a shore where the water is cool. Soon your tub's not a tub, it's McKellick's pool. This might be a pool like I've read of in books, connected to one of those underground brooks, an underground river that starts here and flows right under the bathtub, and then who knows, it's possible. Anything. Come tomorrow.
It's possible. Anything.